Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing the ET, the extraterrestrial board game. So we'll get straight into it. I'll show you the front there, guys. So as you can see, you got ET on there and the uh, kids there on their bicycles. Pretty uh, famous scene from the movies there. And then on the back, we've got some information regarding the game. We've got a black and white image there of all the uh, pieces we're going to find on the inside. So we'll open it up, guys. We'll uh, take a look and get a closer look at all the pieces and parts. And then uh, off camera, I'll take a read of the instructions and I'll work out how it all goes together. So do let us know down in the comments uh, what you think, guys. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. So here's our nicely colourful, bright board game. Just the one side, guys. Um, so that's that part there. We have a set of instructions here. Looks like we have to uh, build a uh, spaceship, which is pretty cool. So here's our spaceship that we're going to uh, build. So I'll do that off camera as well. And we'll uh, discuss it all at the uh, end in the outro, guys. Okay, we have a few parts here. The instructions are uh, part of the box, so that's nice and handy. Pretty hard to lose that one. So I'll take a read and uh, work out what's going on. We have a couple of tokens here. So we've got yellow, uh, probably maybe different players. We've got red, got like more of a darker red. And uh, that's those parts of the game we have some cards here we have a it's like a puzzle of some sort as well so there's um, some puzzle pieces here again I'll take a read and work out what's going on on the uh, board you can see that there's puzzle pieces as well uh, they will just say plus three on them but I'll work out what they all do and mean we have a few cards here so on the back of these ones it says Elliot um, so you've got Elliot cards and then um, these ones are ET, the extraterrestrial cards. Okay, so a few different cards there. And then we have a uh, couple more items to go with this board game. We have our dice, and we have our small little ET figure. And it looks like he has some sort of cape thing. He probably go, sits over him or something like that because it's got uh, pictures of that on the board, guys. All right, well, that's everything included inside the board for now. So um, what I'm going to do, like I said, uh, I'll take a read of the instructions. I'll put it all together and we'll talk about it in the outro. So do let us know in the comments what you think. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. But for now, we're going to conclude this part of the video. Welcome back guys, so I had a read of the instructions. Um, so basically you set up the board like so. Nothing goes on the board except ET himself on the starting space, which is um, at the top here. You've got your uh, costume cards for ET that help protect him. Then you've got your Elliot ET cards as well. So what you wanna do for each player, you grab a uh, Elliot ET card, and then depending on how many players, it determines how many of the uh, costume cards are actually available in the game. So the more players you've got, the more cards are available. You've got your die, one to three. You've got your chips here, three different colored chips. Doesn't really matter. Um, basically to win, you go to um, the guy with the most chips at the end of the game, then is the winner. Doesn't matter if you get to the ship first, you can uh, send ET to the ship and you can have less chips than another player, you still lose. So you just gotta be careful like that guys. Just be aware that if you get ET into the uh, spaceship, you do gain an extra three chips, but um, you want to make sure you've got uh, more than the, your opponents, otherwise you're still going to lose the game. Okay, you've also got the puzzle pieces here, which are the transmitter. So you've got to go around the board, guys, and you've got to land on the puzzle piece um, squares, and then you get a piece, you put it in the center, and then you start making the transmitter. You have to build the transmitter first, 
then the spaceship will arrive and then you can uh, send um, ET to the spaceship. Unfortunately guys, I'm missing a couple of pieces. Um, there's a couple of rings that go on the top and then on the, uh, on the bottom. So um, the spaceship would look something like that if I had all the chips, uh, which does look pretty cool. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to try and source some or 3D print some so I can uh, get this piece um, set up and looking nice. All right, so we've got the chips. We've got, um, so you've got his costume here. If you wanna use the costume, guys, you obviously have to land on the space and then collect one of the costume cards. And then before the start of your round, you have to put the costume on top of ET and then he's safe. Doesn't matter what space you land on, he's safe. Otherwise, if you land on one of the human spaces that are trying to find you and um, capture ET, then you, uh, you gotta follow what the uh, space says, but most of the time you will lose chips and um, you have to fly away. So if ET is not protected with the costume um, and you're uh, spotted by the uh, humans, you have to fly. Um, so basically the guy next to you will um, use the ET Elliot card you put it on your forehead, so you, um, if you if you're trying to fly ET away, you uh, close your eyes. The uh, your opponent next to you puts the uh, ET Elliot fly card on top of your forehead, and then you got to guess which um, which uh, name is showing. So, um, and then obviously if you uh, if you guess it correct, then you can fly ET to a designated space that you uh, see fit. Obviously, you want to probably pick one that uh, you can get more chips rather than one that you get less chips. And then if you fail though, guys, then your turn is over and um, moves on to the next opponent. And then you would say, put the uh, Elliot ET card on their forehead, then they got to guess. And then if they get it right, then they move um, ET wherever they like. If they get it wrong, it moves to the next person or back and forth if there's only two players, I suppose. Um, also guys, before you start rolling the dice for your turn, you, um, you say out loud a number one to three, and then it, well, you roll the dice and say you said number two, and you roll number two, that's fine. You still move two spaces, and then you get another roll of the dice. So you get another round until you um, until you get that wrong, basically. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys, well, hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel before you leave, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike. Once we get to the next milestone, we do the next giveaway. So do subscribe, so running for that, and we'll catch you next time.